Alrighty folks, for this video here, I would like to just make a brief update on the progress with these two courses, Wedding Bells and Check in the Hippocrane Check course. Now I've already made reviews on these two courses, so I'm not going to do that in this video. Basically, I just wanted to let you guys know, those of you who've been following me on this journey of learning Cantonese and um, Czech, just want to let you guys know that these two courses have been completed just recently. So uh, what I'm going to do is make a second part of this video and show you guys um, the number of plays, how many times I've been listening to um, each of the um, dialogues. Okay. So the Wedding Bells book, this has like 20, this had like 20 chapters and then this Hippocrane had, or I should say 20 lessons and then this Hippocrane check had 10 lessons. So I spent a lot of time with these two courses. Now what I plan on doing, and I think I made a video about this a while back, is I'm going to do a sweep on both of these courses. Just kind of go through them, make sure I'm familiar with all of the, um, the constructions, idioms, or whatever is introduced in these two courses. So that's what I plan to do. So um, I think what I want to do as far as Cantonese is look for another course similar to this one with stories. I mean, I still have the learning Cantonese through stories, but those stories are very long. I would like to get something like this, where you have just, you know, a simple dialogue like this. It can be this, you know, this long here. And then you have the translation. Well, that's just, this is the Romanized for the Cantonese. And then you have, they give you the translation somewhere right here the English translation of that so this is for, so for those of you who've been interested in learning Cantonese um, this is a really good course to get not for beginners but once you reach like an intermediate level you can go ahead and get this course is really good so um, yeah that's it I just wanted to make an update on these two courses here so this these are so, so far, as far as completion of books, this is my third time completing um, a like language course. I completed the whole Teach Yourself course, now I completed the Wedding Bells, and then now the Hippocrane Check course. So, alrighty, that's it, and I'm going to make the second part of this video. Alright, my friends, for the second part of the video I just made on my little review, um, I want to show you guys the uh, number, like the plays I've, like the number of times I've listened to the um, the tracks. So I'm going to start with Czech, the Hippocrine course. So Czech has, the Hippocrine course for Czech has 10 lessons. Okay. So if you look here, you notice, oh, wait a minute, lesson, oh, I see. Uh, so lesson one, dialogue one, I listened to 1,213 times. That's lesson one, and then at the top is lesson two, and lesson three, lesson four, and then five, and then six, seven. Now you notice that the further I get, the further I got in the chapters, the less I listen to the dialogue. So I went from like a thousand down to six hundred for some, and five hundred, and then towards the end, four hundred, three hundred, and eventually. 200 almost 300 and as I mentioned before like there's a certain rhythm that you you know when you listen to the track so many times there's a certain rhythm like music once it gets to that point for me then I will stop I will stop listening to the audio um, I would just like for example if I'm at 538 and it sounds like mu music to me I won't listen to it anymore because I got the rhythm down so that's what that's pretty much what happened with with the rest of these um, these tracks OK, I know some people can't listen to the tracks that long, but I don't know. It's to me when I listen to them for 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 a long time, for many times, like even when they start sound like music, I would want to continue to listen to them because I've liked the rhythm. So that's why most of these I have so many plays. All right. So that's for check. And let's see for the wedding bells course. This is a wedding bells course. So Wedding Bells had 20 chapters, okay? So as you can see, we have right here, this is like, here you hear the numbers. They just, 
like how this works they just kind of put whatever was played the most they put that first so lesson three i listened to the most that's why it's the, the, the first one so here are the plays a thousand to five hundred times all the way down to three hundred so yeah it took me um wow i think it took me a whole year almost is a year close to a year to get through this course because it you know listening to the dialogues that many times it takes a lot of time and i mean I, you know there were times when i listened i spent like two weeks listening to um some of these dialogues here so that's wedding bell so yeah that's what i did and um mm -hmm. so as i mentioned before what i'm going to do with these two courses is go through them again as a sweep i think i made a video a while back talking about sweeping through courses i'm just going to go through them and um, try to you know familiar make sure I'm familiar familiar with all of the constructions and EDMs or whatever is um, introduced in the in those books. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for viewing and um, look forward to any comments.